Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another keto video. Today I'm gonna be talking about another one of the benefits of the keto diet, and that one is that it lowers blood sugar and type two diabetes. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna read to you guys what I have here. It says, speaking of lowered insulin levels, a result of running off ketones allows an individual to control and lower their blood sugar levels. The ability to utilize fat and ketones as fuel for the body mean a pre-diabetic or even a type two diabetic no longer has to worry about excess blood sugar levels and the need to source exogenous insulin. It was documented in the 1976 study how type 2 diabetic patients on a ketogenic diet no longer needed insulin and they lost a lot of body weight. These findings were backed up in a 2012 study which had obese diabetics follow a ketogenic diet for 12 months. The researchers found lower fasting glucose levels, improved cholesterol markers, and improved HA1C readings. Remember, carbs and glucose are not required when on a ketogenic diet, as stable, clean burning energy is sourced from fat. This makes controlling blood sugar levels near foolproof. So there you have it guys, another amazing benefit of doing the ketogenic diet. And like this, I could vouch for this because before I started the keto diet, I was a pre-diabetic. And with my last baby, I developed diabetes. And I had to be monitor monitored throughout the whole um, pregnancy and everything. And after I did the keto diet, I had lab work done and bam, like my, my diabetes disappeared. I am no longer pre-diabetic. I don't have any other health issues. The I also did have high cholesterol and I had high triglycerides and all that disappeared with the ketogenic diet. So there you have it. If you are, maybe you are a type two diabetic, maybe you want to consider the ketogenic diet because it's, it's really, really good and it works wonders to reverse um, type two diabetes. I'm not the only person who um, this a diet, this lifestyle change has done this to my friend Angel who is the one who uh, taught me the ketogenic diet. She also used to be a pre-diabetic before she started the keto diet. And as soon as she lost all the weight, um, her doctor did a blood work on her and she's also no longer a diabetic. So that's awesome. The, the incredible amount of amazings that come and benefits that come from doing a ketogenic diet, it's like, it's like I always say, it's like a full package, you know? And I'm so glad that I was taught the keto diet the correct way to do it. You know, my friend Angel is amazing. She has so much knowledge. I have shared her channel with you guys many times before, um, but I'll keep saying it again because she is awesome. She has a lot of knowledge. Her channel name is Keep It Keto. Her real name is Angel and if it wasn't for her and teaching me the true correct way of doing keto, I mean, you guys, I wouldn't have been able to, to have done it on my own because, you know, the results that I have reaped from sticking to her teachings and doing it the correct way, you know, a lot of people think that you have to sit there and eat like jars of mayo and tons of bacon and stuff like that to um to do the keto diet correctly they think you got to consume all these tons of fat and you don't when you are in the weight loss stage you're gonna let your own body fat burn because what's gonna happen is that um if you are not in ketosis and you're adding more fat you're just you're gonna damage your body you're gonna even if you're doing the keto diet if you consume too much fat because people have the wrong idea about how to truly do the keto diet the correct way, you you could be at risk for getting heart disease and high cholesterol because you are consuming way too much fat. So yeah, a lot of people get that part wrong about the keto diet. Uh, when it says, you know, like the ketones are running on fat and stuff like that, you are getting that energy from the fat that you already have stored in your body, that is gonna be your high fat if you are still trying to lose weight. It's obvious, you know, when you still have fat in your body. You know, we each know our, our bodies, you know? And I think that until you don't reach a perfect BMI and you no longer have 
any more fat that your body could feed off of, then that's when you obviously, you know, you got to consume a little more fat and up, you know, your calories and stuff like that. You're always going to up everything once you reach that maintenance mode where you no longer have like any more body fat. But the only thing you're never going to up is going to be the carbs. You're always going to stay in under 20 carbs per day when you're doing a true ketogenic diet. Um, and the ketogenic diet is an extremely low carb diet. A lot of people also get it wrong. A lot of people say that, um, you got to do like, uh, doing about like 50 carbs per day is okay too. True ketogenic diet is extremely, extremely strictly low carb, which in this case, the correct way to do it is less than 20 carbs, no more than 20 carbs. I have never in my life done 50 carbs. I honestly don't think that I need 50 carbs a day to survive. I don't need any carbs at all. I could go carnivore keto, which is basically just meat and eggs, and I'm feeling great. I'm surviving wonderfully. And we don't need carbs. Who needs carbs? <laughs> but um, but yeah, it lowers blood sugar, you guys. It makes type 2 diabetes disappear. And it's, I'm not the only person that keto has done that to, you know? Like I said, not only me, my friend Angel, tons of people who she has coached on keto that have lost amazing tons of amount of weight. And they also had diabetes and it completely, completely reversed that's what keto does keto really does help so i thought i'd share with you guys this is another amazing benefit of doing the keto diet it's that it lowers blood sugar um type 1 diabetics that's a little different because people who are type 1 were born with with the disease they were born so it's a little a little difficult to 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 deal with when you have type 1 diabetes if you have type 1 you do have to consult with your doctor because i'm not sure if the keto diet is for you but type 2 type 2 diabetes is developed over the years of eating bad you're not born with that okay you don't have to like inject insulin and stuff like that since you were a kid people who develop type 2 diabetes is plain and simple you used to be a fatty <laughs> you used to love food too much and that's what happens we develop type 2 diabetes from years of eating crap, filling our bodies with toxins and carbs and sugars. That's what happens. But it is reversible. It is reversible if you cut out all those bad carbs, all those bad sugars. And please, guys, get it right. Remember, the high fat part of the ketogenic diet is using, that's the correct way to do it, using the fat that you already have in your body. Like I said, no need to consume jars of mayo and, you know, and if you want to do mayo, I mean, I love mayo, but now I use light mayo, you know, you could keep it light and, you know, a, t a tablespoon or two is okay. You don't have to put like globs of mayo and cheese and stuff like that, you know, and I might sound like a broken record, but you guys, you can't have ketchup, regular ketchup on, <laughs> on keto. A lot of people, I mean... I don't know. I have no idea who in their right mind would do regular ketchup on keto. I have no idea. But sugar-free ketchup is okay. That's what we do on keto, sugar-free ketchup, but not regular ketchup. And uh, no, doing the correct way of keto is, like I said, using your own body fat as the high fat. You're not going to consume tons of, just because it says those are the healthy fats, you know, yes, the healthy fats are the eggs, the nuts, the mayo, the avocado, uh, the olive oil. And just because it says those are the good healthy fats doesn't mean that you have to consume tons of it, you know, uh, globs of cheese and stuff like that. That's just like not necessary when you're, you know, in the weight loss stage. If you're still trying to lose weight and you still have fat in your body, you are not going to consume more fat on top. It just doesn't make sense, you know. But anyway, I'm so glad and I feel so blessed that I'm following someone who actually knows what they're talking about. She knows her keto shit, you know, and I've been so successful thanks to her. I have accomplished every single milestone that I set myself throughout my whole keto diet. I have accomplished every single one of them thanks to doing it the correct way, being taught, being guided by someone who, tr who truly, truly had my best interest at heart someone who never steered me wrong you know and someone who herself was guided by professionals so i always say this i learned from the from the best and i truly feel blessed that i learned from the best because you can't go wrong you can't go wrong when you have facts 
and you have science to back it up, you know, and that there's so many doctors out there that I like love to watch as well because they totally approve of the ketogenic diet and you know it's hard to find nowadays a doctor who will be honest with you and steer you in the right way and actually approve of keto um dr boz is one of them that i follow on on youtube she's amazing and like she oh my god she's awesome she knows her keto really good and she's a big supporter of fasting which is what i do i do long of and i'm talking about long periods of fasting she totally supports that 100% and uh, I love it. I love it because that's something I do and a lot of people freak out when they hear the word fasting. Dr. Berg is one. And you know what's funny? There's a lot of people who back up Dr. Berg, but they totally like misconstrue all his words. And like Dr. Berg is one that firmly believes and preaches about using your own body fat and about restricting calories when you reach a certain point in your weight loss where you need to restrict you need to drop those calories in order to continue losing weight so dr berg is one also that's really good has a lot of information and he endorses it all the way so there's a lot of people that i don't understand they have a, they get a lot of wrong information and they freak out about calorie restriction yet they follow dr berg but dr berg preaches the same thing that that i I do and and my friend angel do so yeah i i don't <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me but anyway yeah you guys find people that know the truth the facts about keto and that know what they're talking about because trust me you will succeed i along with many others uh are proof that we have been a success story with keto and tons of people that my friend angel has helped have reached their goals have lost the weight tons of weight i'm talking about over a hundred something pounds you guys um and we have succeeded in an incredible amount of time you know and that's what we want we don't want to stay unhealthy you know for a long period of time we want to get rid of that weight as fast as possible we want to get healthy you know and it's amazing it's amazing i think the keto diet is a, one of the only the only diet that will do that for you you know and will keep you at the healthiest state that your body could ever be in and then that's because you're in a state of ketosis you know so anyway yeah you guys i hope you found this helpful and as always stay tuned for more i will keep bringing out more of these keto videos for you guys so if you guys are interested in more uh then stay tuned because there's more to come don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media in case you guys want to reach out to me outside of youtube all right you guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you on my next video bye guys